Hey Scorpio, it's going to be a love reading for you guys, okay? General love reading. You're about to have two options or you're like in this two of pentacles energy weighing options or you might be presented with two options here. Um, you know, one option might be better than the other or you need to get more information or you're seeking information about it or you don't have all the details or you feel like you don't have all the details to make a proper decision or make a confident decision. But what I will tell you this, it looks like the best decision involves you choosing a new direction. So it's like, this is like, let's say for instance, like if you're trying to think about getting back with an ex, I'm just using love as an example. Don't go back to the ex. <laughs> Cause spirit is clearly saying, choose a new direction, get more information. Like if you're thinking about an ex coming back, cause we are Mercury retrograde to like January the 2nd, I believe. And we are already in, in Mercury ret retrograde. It's like, okay, if the ex comes back or, you know, they don't, you know, whoever this person is from the past, right, that I'm using as an example, um, flip and switch it, right? And this person wants to go out, hang out, you know, and talk to you or maybe get closure or whatever. Like, there's a need for you to get more information from this person. Don't just jump right into making a decision or a choice or don't just say, yeah, let's do it. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. Like, no. Because there is a need for you to um break some sort of ancestral curse you've got some elders around you or some spirit guys that are around you who are like cheering you on and they want you to move beyond some form of ancestral pattern okay and this is, I, i'm gonna keep it real with you because this is what i'm seeing in the energy here on the bottom of the deck is the heart guardian okay this says lo love and let yourself be loved so don't allow yourself to get deceived by something from the past, okay? Because I feel like whatever this is, it's not about what's behind you. It's about you choosing a new direction, okay? Or you not making uh, a decision <laughs> to do something that you might regret when it comes to a past person. And it's definitely got something to do with knowing who you are now. You're not the same, I feel like, you guys. Um, you're showing yourself some self-love. It's time for you to break some form of curse. So this is giving wheel energy here, uh, the world energy, excuse me. Well, yeah, wheel energy too, because wheel energy is about change, right? And and the world energy is about, you could be a fixed sign, you could be a Taurus, a Scorpio, um, Aquarius, Leo. You don't have to be any of those signs, but it's like, yeah, I love myself enough to make a different choice and not make the same mistake, okay? That's what spirit wants you to do. Come out of make break some form of pattern and, and love yourself and know your worth. Okay. Cause I feel like somebody here is like a little unhappy. Someone here is definitely a little unhappy here. Yeah. And um let go of any regret. Okay. If this I don't know if you're feeling some form of regret, you feel like you owe someone an apology. This could be somebody from the past that's unhappy right now and they're depressed and they're sorry and they're apologetic and they're really like remorseful in this four of cups, five of cups energy and they want to come back towards you and have a conversation. But I feel like whoever this is, they're really worried and concerned that maybe you will reject them or you won't talk to them. Compromise is on the bottom of this angel deck and angel answers deck. So again, you can compromise, but it doesn't mean we just choose a new direction. It doesn't mean that you have to take somebody back. It could just be a conversation of closure and forgiveness for yourself. Okay. I feel like don't shun somebody, you know, if they come towards you and they want to talk. Um you know, you do what you want, but Spirit is saying yes, okay? Choose a new direction, okay? Choose a new direction. Get more information. Maybe this is you finding out, like, maybe someone here is telling you, like, hey, like, this is why I did. You, you could be getting an explanation or something. Um, what else do we have here? Yeah. The garden and the gate in the thinking woman cornucopia on the bottom of the deck. So we have the garden and the gate, the garden and the gate, the number 30, the number 47, the thinking woman, which is kind of giving me like a little bit of Pisces, a little bit of Virgo. You could have any of those in your chart. You don't have to, but 
you're thinking about going somewhere. Some of y'all could be in school. You could be thinking about returning to school. You could be thinking about getting a certification or learning something new here. It's something that you're not used to or something that maybe you've been thinking about doing, but it's going to allow you to like either A, travel, step outside of your comfort zone, do something new and different because the garden that gave energy is like, oh, I'm going to stay back here in my comfortable little garden behind these gates because life is good. I'm comfortable here. I have no worries. But on the outside of the gate, on the horizon, is the sun. There's like this valley. There are these butter, beautiful butterflies. Like you can leave the garden. You can leave the garden. There is more out there for you. But this person looks real skeptical. <laughs> she's got like her, her, um, her, you can't really see that. But like she's like looking at, at the uh, outside of the gate like, kind of anxious maybe even afraid or whatever it is right you're doing a lot of overthinking just make sure you're not overthinking it now i'm not you getting more information and researching and getting details is totally different from overthinking all right because i'm not saying you shouldn't you know get the information that you need to make a a good decision the best decision for you because you should do that. I'm I don't know what this is about balance. Something balance here is needed and necessary. Angel of balance. Appreciation. I'm telling you. All right. Grateful. The appreciation energy is obviously appreciate what you have. Right. Let me. I want to read this angel of balance energy. Because I feel like there's an extra. You could be a Libra energy in here. I mean an extra message for you. Because there seems to be a really big message here of balance and like choice, like two of pentacles energy, right? It says this loving um, presence, all right, this angel or whoever it is you want to call this person, right? Um, again, this is more energy of like taking a, a closer look at something, getting more information, studying it. Um, this again could be you studying something, right? We already talked about that or learning something. This loving presence holds a picture of liquid light in front of the pyramids, reminding you that a strong destiny relies on a solid foundation of personal balance and emotional equanimity. All right, so you might be trying to balance your personal life right now with your emotions, and that could be what's causing some concern or some anxiousness, all right? It says, although things may have been out of sync in the past, Right. Remember, we talking about the past and leaving that past behind. It says this card is telling you that a greater equilibrium is now coming into your life. So remain conscious about how you are balancing your goals, your physical and emotional energy as well. Whenever you feel yourself getting off center or losing focus, call upon this beautiful angel and bring her intention back into your center, your heart center. Your intuition will lead you into the right direction. Right. Spirit is already telling you, yes, there is another, your your intuition could even be leading you to move in a, a totally different direction than what you're going in now, but you could just be worried and concerned and anxious. Um, maybe y'all have goals and, you know, that you want to achieve, but you have responsibilities and you might be feeling overwhelmed right now. It says your intuition will lead you in the right direction. The angel will guide you to a peaceful and centered approach. So, however you're going about this on this new journey, the new journey, it should be peaceful. It should feel balanced. It's not supposed to feel like out of whack, out of balance. It's not supposed to feel um, bad. You know, it's not supposed to bring in unhappiness and stress and anxiety. If you feel that, then it's, that's not meant for you, right? It's meant for you to move into a, a direction a new direction towards something new that brings in ease and balance. Ooh, ooh, too many, too many. All right. Your angels are guiding and protecting you on a spiritual journey. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. So you do with this angel energy here, you guys may have a, I do feel like you have an elder that may have passed on. I'm trying to pick this card up. I think you have an elder that's passed on that wants you to break yourself free from some old pattern, okay? Again, that could be something as simple as you don't be afraid to try something new, move into a new place or doing something new. 
or just learning how to really love yourself and show up for yourself, right? And then allow yourself to be loved too. Because, you know, giving and receiving needs to be in balance, right? You, you, you need to be giving as much as you're receiving and you need to be receiving as much. You, you get my drift, okay? Anywho, so you got an elder. This could be a male figure because there is a male here on a card. So for some of y'all, this could be like a grandfather or or a father figure or something that's passed on. They're guiding you and um, they really want you to ascend and grow. They're supporting you at this time and they see your value and your worth and they and they want you to, they want to remind you collective of what you deserve. Okay? They do. They want you to know that you deserve positive, you know, positive growth and spiritual growth and, and, and you being a better person and not being a better person, but I feel like just knowing and understanding what your worth is and that what you can have, think bigger, think outside the box. They really do. There are some, some personal goals that you guys have. You have the ability to do it, but I feel like you're just, there's a lot of anxiousness around it. Snake, your intuition and healing powers will give you, will guide you to a better path. Yeah, you're being got, you're being guided here down a brand new direction, a brand new path to go do something new. Some of y'all definitely might be moving on, traveling from some, moving on from someone or something. You know, this could be you changing a career, starting a business, or maybe you have a business already, but you want to go back to school and there's something that really special that you've been thinking about doing and you're just kind of afraid to just have to have that change of pace. Because, you know, if you haven't been in school in a while and you're studying something, you're, you know, that could bring in some form of anxiety. Um, but there's a need for you to be careful and get more information. I feel like this snake energy here. Um, spirit is saying, okay, you, you're going to know what to do. You're being guided by your ancestors or you're being guided by a special angel or someone that's passed over. Uh, and you're trust your intuition. Okay. Love you. Continue to love yourself and allow yourself to be loved. Continue to give and allow yourself to receive. Right. And, but there's a snake here or there's somebody here in your energy, something that where you need to get more information. It's not what it seems. If something makes you feel like it's not what it seems, trust that. Love, look at that. So we have two cards of love here. The heart, guardian, love, and let yourself be loved is here. And actual love, the number 17. Love surrounds you. Love surrounds all of your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. So you do have some, um, go, be, you're going to be meeting some goals here. And it looks like some of y'all have new love coming in. Some definitely you you're going to be reaching some form of financial goal, all right. Um, some of y'all are reaching some form of personal goal. Some of y'all are going back to school. Some of you guys are starting to open a business that might have something to do with spirituality here, or you're just studying something. Celebration on the bottom of the deck. You are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. I do feel, but you, I feel like you're lacking some patience when it comes to something new. Y'all, they're asking for it, but like, have you really taken a leap and put those thoughts into action? Have you made that a plan? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't think I've seen this angel card around here. I don't know if this has ever come out. I think I kind of want to read it. You are truly blessed with a deep connection to your angels. Pay attention to your dreams and gut feelings, knowing that your angels are there to guide you. When you need them, simply ask them or follow these ritual rituals. Well, look at that. Look at that. All right. So don't be afraid to ask this, this ancestor for help. Don't be afraid to pray. They're listening to you. Let's read goals. The number 13. It says, if you've been feeling bored, restless, super sensitive, or more vulnerable to criticism than usual, stay positive and, rem and remember criticisms cannot hurt you unless you let them. A goal you thought was unreachable now seems closer than ever. Learning some new skill or even taking up a brand new hobby can help your progress. Let 
old plans, concepts, and expectations go. It's time to start afresh. Big changes are in store for you now, so trust your instincts and play your hunches. And you could also gain some extra money. Yeah, I t oh, yeah, that's basically what I feel like we just talked about, right? It is. So I love it when these messages just confirm stuff um, for me. And Patreon had a really good um, weekly oracle message, too. If you haven't joined us on Patreon, join us on Patreon. I did their Twin Flame reading yesterday, and they still have a Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine reading I need to do. Um, love. Let's read this card about love. It says your aura, okay, will be electric as as you attract love into your life, both, both personally and professionally. Be ready for major changes that will affect all of your relationships. Temptations may come your way, so be warned not to stray or face the consequences. Remember, I was telling you earlier, like, that's why this snake energy is out here. That's why this, um... Compromise energy is out here and the guard. I, I just feel like somebody wants to apologize to you for something and but they're not to be trusted. It doesn't mean that you, you know, take them back or give them another chance, but you might just have a conversation and get some closure is what it seemed like to me. All right. Invitations could come in at a rapid pace. Be out and about as much as possible and dress to impress at every opportunity. A chance meeting could incite previously unknown feelings. Oh, here we go. So y'all might be out and about having a good time, having a ball <laughs> for the holidays. And you might see somebody from the past and a conversation comes up. I'm just I'm just saying, I don't know. Be, be careful not to like go sleep with them now if you want to do that that's your business i don't you know wrap it up that's all i'm gonna tell you just wrap it up because i feel like this person kind of is it not to be trusted i don't that's what it's giving all right so personal goals get life is getting good there's some improvement there's some change Ch new change though you, you get my drift it's all new might make you a little uncomfortable, but don't be afraid. Um, <laughs> some of y'all are feeling like you don't have control over something right now. There's a you got you guys are going through some form of a cycle shift right now, so it may be feel you might be feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Um, but that's okay because whatever it is that you are going through and experiencing is temporary and, and, and it's really meant to push you and teach you something here. It's gonna, your life is gonna improve. There definitely is some travel or some form of movement here. Some of y'all are moving, um, for like work or for your purpose or going to school or something. I don't know, but the progress, whatever this movement, eight of wands energy is, cherry energy is, um, you're going to be overcoming these obstacles. There's a change here that's going to require some that's going to be presented to you, an opportunity that's going to be presented to you. This could be starting a new business, investing in a, in a new venture or like a new job or something like some of y'all are turning your hobbies into a business. You should do that. Um, don't be afraid to take this big leap forward. OK, but you got to do it. OK. You can't just be talking about it. You got to do it. Hmm. This says some of y'all are moving somewhere. There's a new job that's going to come in, be more money, and it's going to give you job security. So this is giving like four of wands, four of pentacles energy. Some of y'all have been thinking about taking a new temporary project or a new temporary position for the holidays. You probably should do it. Yeah. What else here? I love this song so much, you guys. Kevin Ross, Inside. It's called The Inside Freestyle. I, and this song is playing, and it's one of my favorite songs. I'm a Scorpio. So if you hear it, don't be laughing at me. I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> people skills. You have a flair for working well with other people. You could be a diplomat, a counselor, a salesperson, or a head of a company. So you have this, you have these, this emperor energy about you, male or female. You are, can be a leader. You can be a boss. You have, you're a person that could do many things. This is good. You know, Maybe this is a new skill. There's something new that you want to tap into. Don't be afraid to do it, okay? Don't 
Don't be afraid to start that business. Don't be afraid to go back to school to become a licensed mental health counselor or go back to school to do something, I feel like, to help people people um, in general. You got a wish coming. Some of y'all, y'all have a relationship coming towards you. Either you're going to meet somebody on this new journey, either you're going to meet somebody new at like work or at school or something, or like you may even be going into a, starting a business with somebody else. That could be, I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. For some of y'all, you're going to meet somebody at love or you're going to involve yourself with somebody at work or somebody that you're doing business with. This is two of cups energy. So just apply it where it fits. Just make sure it's a, it's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't just... Because, you know, sometimes, you, you know, there could be a clause like you can't, you know, be with your co-worker or, you know, I, don't know, I try to separate business from work all the time. That's just not something I typically do. I know that much. Uh, you do have a wish being granted, though. Okay. There's no need for you to worry. All right. There's definitely... Y'all are definitely getting ready to invest in your, your education or something. It's going to be a calculated risk. But you need to save your money right now if you decide to do it. Be very close, pay very close attention to the amount of money that you're spending for those of you who are investing in a business or investing in education or learning something or certification. Watch how much you're spending and you need to put money aside. Okay. It's something temporary here that I feel like you're going to be doing or starting. Hold on. This is the same energy that came out. I was pulling some love oracle messages for you, and this is the same energy that came out yesterday. So I'm going to, at the end screen... What was the title of that video, you guys? Because you probably should go watch it if it resonates for you. I think there was like a third party. Um, there's somebody who's like watching you. They want to talk. and Yeah. You and this person are not speaking right now. You and this, this person could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Or you could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. There, either there's no communication or there's a physical distance and location between you and this person. They want to talk to you, by the way. Um, somebody here is pregnant, though. Somebody here is pregnant. Somebody wants to talk to you. They're going to come back. Expect someone in your life who could be pregnant with a child or they could be having a child. Maybe they want to have a child with you. I don't know. That might be something that they want to share with you. Um, make sure you're trusting your intuition. Remember, we, we saw this energy of the snake earlier. Just pay attention to that. Um, because I feel like whoever this person is, they don't know. They might be bisexual. Somebody here could be bisexual. I mean, or they don't really know what they want. Or hell, they, they're trying to use sex as a, ma a manipulation tactic. I don't know. That's what it looks like. So between now and January 2nd, expect to hear from this person. Show me more. Yeah, Spirit is saying caution several, several, several times. Find out more information. Do not just believe this person. And somebody here is moving on and change, making a change of residence here. Or this person could want to move in with you. But I feel like you've already moved on from this person and you're going to close. You close the door on this. Yeah, you close the door. Look at what's on the bottom of that. Let go. You've already closed the door on this person. You feel like you, you're going to maybe have a conversation with them. But you're moving on. You're moving forward. You're not revisiting this. You're going to trust your intuition. 
and trust that you feel like, no, I don't trust you. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Um, so let me get one more card. Kind of feels like the energy from last night. Your guardian angel's trying to warn you about something or tell you something. I'm telling y'all, y'all have an elder guardian angel. A loved one watches over you. That's the same elder. Um, But yeah, somebody does want to confess something to you and tell you something. The confession could be that somebody is pregnant. Um... They make, because why is this intimacy here? I don't know. Sexual, reminiscing, sexuality. Somebody is still trying to figure themselves out sexually. Then we have air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. You might have manifested a new person. I feel like some of y'all have manifested a new person, but there's another person here from the past. Okay. They want to go hang out. This person may have a dog. Mm, or they could have used to been a dog like in a past like in the past I feel like this person was a dog yeah they were a dog and whoever they were man, or I don't know maybe they were dealing with a dog or you know a woman who played them or something somebody here recently got a divorce the new person that came towards you is that's getting ready to come towards you that's going to want to get to know you maybe ask you out on a date or go hang out or something um, or out to drinks this person just recently got a divorce from somebody here and this person was being used for money yeah they were married <laughs> commitment divorce gold digger challenges this person could be a cancer pisces or a scorpio that was weird the way that came out um, but that's your week ahead oracle reading, you guys. All right, hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you like it here.